Welcome to Kempner Sports. My name is Rev Trev, and I'm excited that you're here because the pack are back. Let's go. We are the Cowboy Killers. I can't believe it. I just made a video. Are we going to go 8 or 0 oh and 8? Not 8 and 0. Oh. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, we have just been on the most awful skid I've seen in the longest of times. But don't worry about that right now. Let's, it's Victory Monday, people. And I am so excited. What a game. What a finish. Now, listen, I don't know about you, but when it was 28 to 14, I just thought, okay, here we go again. Here we go again. We're going to lose another game. And I didn't actually think we were going to beat the Cowboys because their defense is legit. Uh, Dak is back, but you know what? We found a way to win, and let's talk about how we found those ways to win. By the way, if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, I love making Packers content. Please support the channel. I'd love it. Okay, let's get into the details. Our turnovers were epic. Are you kidding me? Ford, out of nowhere, gets not just one, but two interceptions. Those were so exciting. I was like cheering Got off my couch. I was like, "Whoa, let's go!" And so it was. <laughs> it was amazing. I'm like, and then I was just like, "Time out. Who's Ford?" Like, I I know we've been struggling with Savage, and I don't know who Ford is. All I know is, well done, buddy, and let's keep putting him in the game. The other thing is Aaron Jones and AJ Dillon. The run game. Now listen to me. We have been saying as fans, and people say, "Oh, the, these armchair quarterbacks don't know what they're doing." We are like, run the ball, run the ball. Because when you run the ball, and especially effectively against the Cowboys, which was amazing, uh, 200 yards rushing, like this was an absolutely nuts day. Aaron Jones was on fire. He is next level. He's a difference maker. We need to keep feeding him the ball. And then you got A.J. Dillon just trucking people over. It was so fun to watch. Um, but when that happens... Uh, it opens up the play game, the, the passing game, right? And so look at what Christian Watson, oh my goodness, Christian Watson has arrived. This was his coming out party. This is what we are hoping to see with him. We understand with rookies that's up and down. We miss Romeo Dobbs. We, we, we know that Christian Watson has been struggling with injuries and struggling with drops because he had two drops yesterday as well. But listen, the, those touchdown passes were impressive. The one where he caught it going across the middle and he, he hammered into the two defenders to score a touchdown. That was like, oh, that was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, can we expect him to do this week after week? Probably not. But he's got flashes of brilliance that this is why we drafted. This is why we traded down or traded up. Yeah, traded up to get him is uh, because of things like this. We knew he had this potential, but these injuries have riddled his year. He's really been stifled by that, being a, a young player. But anyways, I am so excited about his future. And um, if you're in a dynasty league, you should have him on your roster, just saying. So, but one thing that I was really, really surprised at was actually a couple things. Um, one is, uh, why is Amari Rogers still returning punts? or kicks, or anything. Why has he got that role? I, we have been saying week after week after week, you got to bench that guy. So it's like, oh, we don't have anyone else. Apparently we do. It's not that hard to find a guy who could at least not fumble the ball, okay? So, you know, we got him out of there. Then the game started turning around, and Rodgers looked pretty good. I mean, he had a few missed throws, but and uh, what was the deal with him reaming out our head coach, that was kind of awkward, wasn't it? So anyways, long story to say, listen, there were some great highlight moments. What, like, if there was a game that we needed to win, it was this one, right, against the Cowboys. Like, they come into, and, and the best play of the whole game wasn't even on our team, was when they went for it on fourth down, and they missed it, and McCarthy takes his headset and chucks it on the ground. That was, oh, 
That was a, that was absolutely the best part. I was like, dude, what are you doing? Kick the field goal, but whatever. It's not our problem anymore, and we end up winning the game. Uh, what a game it was. It was just so much fun to be a Packers fan. It's been so bad, feeling like a Bears fan, losing game after game after game. Speaking of the Bears, you lost to the Lions. You have Justin Fields on fire right now, and you still lost to the Lions by one. Now, I get it. We lost the Lions, so we can't say much, but... Listen, that's still hilarious. And the Vikings, oh my goodness, I can't believe they beat the Bills. And people are like, how is that possible? Those catches by Diggs and Jefferson was next level. Um, but man, that I think the reason why the Vikings won that game, well, we know it was the fumble. Josh Allen just didn't play very good, in my opinion. And he threw bad picks instead of, instead of them kicking field goals. So I'm thankful that we didn't just try to run the ball at the end and or... or play action pass and get it intercepted just kick the field goal with Crosby get her done and so the question is are we gonna what are we gonna do next we're, we're playing Tennessee we can beat Tennessee it depends what team comes out uh, if we continue the running the the ball game plan I think we can do it um, then we play the Eagles next well who knows it, it, everything's possible the Eagles look really good so I would love for you to put in the comments what your favorite part of the game was you know mine with McCarthy uh, I love the coming out party with um Watson. There were so many awesome moments to the game. But post your comments. What's your favorite? And post in the comments uh, who you think if we're going to beat the Titans and the Eagles in the next couple weeks. And thanks so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. And of always and of course, go Pack Go! Y'all, y'all, y'all ready for this? Uh, yeah.